Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go over this little clip from Wademayo speaking about the colonial borders. And I wanted to share with you this little clip because I made a video about a couple weeks ago about how Somalian were deporting people from Somalia. And he said what I wanted to say, he just said it better. Now before we get to the video, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. It's crazy how I'm in Kinshasa. But I can see Brazzaville right there, and they both have the name Congo, yeah? But there's no bridge that is connecting the two countries. Um, apparently, if you are Congolese and you want to go, to, uh, Congolese from Kinshasa, you want to go to Brazzaville, you need visa to go there. I mean, sometimes I feel like we should stop blaming colonialism, yeah? Sometimes it's our fault, you know? I, I, I just don't get it, man. That's crazy, man. Like, they, they speak the same language, right? But because they were colonized by um, the French and this one was colonized by the Belgian, they decided not to, I mean, they decided not to come together. They decided to be in their separate ways. But sometimes when you think about these things, I'll be like, I mean, coloni colonization is over, right? So why is it that we keep on, I mean, following the footsteps of the colon colonists? It's crazy, man. I don't even know what I'm saying, but... Um, yeah, but the view is beautiful. You know, that's absolutely true. That is totally ridiculous. And that's what I was trying to say in my last video, that Somaliland deporting people to Somalia, that's absurdity in every sense of the word. The fact that you need visas to travel between two Congos, that is absurd. You know, people have families on both sides of the fence. We are the same people speaking the same language. And the sad thing is, that the rest of the world is going to the opposite direction. You know, people are making it more exclusive. Look at Middle East. Even Saudi Arabia and Israel made a peace and, you know, they have open borders now. Well, not totally open, but still. The world is going to the opposite direction. They're going to more open borders. And we're still closing borders from each other. And the funny thing is that if this was any other country who treated us in this way, we will all, you know, stand up and complain. Like when Donald Trump raised the visa charges on Africans who wanted to go to America, everybody was complaining. But that's what we do to each other every day. If we actually had, you know, unified borders and things, if somebody did that to us again, we could do that to them. It's about time that we start doing things differently, like this dividing each other into smaller and smaller pieces. It's not going to work. It's never worked for us. So maybe it's about time that we look things the other way around. Maybe coming to certain terms and conclusions, working together and unifying is the way forward. And I think what Amayo, you know, he said it beautifully there. There's no one else we can blame. This is us who are making these decisions. It's our leaders who are make, making these decisions. They are making people's life more difficult. They are deporting people. But anyways... I hope you liked this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you very much.